Yala, Yula. 32. You would love 32 is talking about Taiwan because Taiwan just had their elections and they elected a pro Western government again, right? But if you uh, listen to Alexander uh, from the Duran, the Duran people, one thing they pointed out the pro Western government in the previous election had 58% of the vote, and in this election, they only got 40% of the vote right and they had to form a coalition they have to form a coalition to be the ruling party in taiwan and the pro china party gained in percentage right so agreed they made a mistake in electing a pro western government right but their support is diminishing here's the problem though that's a dangerous time this is an extremely dangerous time for Taiwan because the West is now realizing the United States, it's mainly the United States, is realizing that their puppets in Taiwan, the parties that support, want to be pro-Western, are losing ground. And the parties, I guess you want to call it Chinese puppets, the party that is supporting China, that wants to be closer to China, is gaining ground, right? And the only way the pro-Western party is allowed to form a government is they, if they form a coalition with the other parties. What does that mean? Do we really think that the United States is going to stand idly by and allow the influence of the party that wants to be with the United States to diminish to a level that in the next elections, the pro-China party will win, right? Because they will. They're increasing in popularity while the West is decreasing. Will it happen in the next election? Yeah, I think it'll happen in the next election because next election, if it happens in four years, by that time, the Western world is economically annihilated. It really is, right? So it's dangerous because I don't think the United States is gonna stand idly by and not allow that to happen, which means they're gonna start shit up. That's my guess. So some people were saying China's gonna buy their time and they, they were planning to just wait, wait it out. And Taiwan is China's. It will be, it's done. The whole world recognizes Taiwan as Chinese. That's part of China. There is no country, including the United States, that considers Taiwan to be its own country. They don't, right? So China's plan was to just buy time and at the end, Taiwan will be pro-China because it's the main trading partner, right? Pro-China and that's it. Taiwan becomes Chinese, just like Hong Kong, right? But I don't think the United States is going to let that happen. Um, I think they're going to go scorched earth on Taiwan, which is extremely dangerous period, extremely dangerous period. So I think war is coming to Taiwan within the next four years. I hope, I, I wish it wasn't, but I think it is. I think it is.